I wanted to show a video here of the importance of changing the sensor for finding R410A leaks. Now on this customer, I know it's a two pound leak. I'm fairly certain it's in the evaporator, but my sensor is a year old and the sensor still picks up the reference leak. You see right there about maybe a quarter inch away. So the sensor's still working, but as these sensors get older, the leak detector gets more stable and it gets less nuisance trips. Like nuisance trips would be tripping it, you know, on things that you know are not leaking. And uh, so when your leak detector starts acting nice, you know your sensor's getting old and needs to be changed because I have a faint hit in the evaporator and two pound leak per year is actually a really big leak and I would expect it to be setting the leak detector off a lot more than that but you can see it's pretty repeatable now the evaporator is cold because the unit is just shut off and so the gases are dropping from gravity. So let's change the sensor. And on this same leak, let's see what the new sensor does compared to the old sensor. Now notice on the sensor, there is a mark for pin one. It's the square silk screen there, and then the little notch. You want to make sure you plug in the right direction. So here's the leak detector, which I love. So as soon as you get up right up next to it. So it's on the right side, top, back. They're clearly getting a leak. Now I have the leak detector manual zeroed on this because the sensor is giving humidity uh, trips. And let me show you what I had to do. So first let's put it back to auto. I usually use auto and it'll zero because okay I'm outside and eh, I suppose we got a little bit of Freon from this unit but not that much because that unit's been flat for a while so okay we're zeroed outside now here's a good false hit which I know it's not Okay, so notice how the house sets it off. That's the humidity change, and that's normal for this leak detector. So when you walk into the house, it sets off. Sometimes the houses can actually have concentrations of refrigerant in it, but on this unit, the return air is right where I'm checking. So if I go outside here, I can get a false hit on this unit just by checking the return air. See that? But I'm just checking the humidity change on the house so you have to ignore that and realize what's happening. But when you zero out the house, which is what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to stabilize for the humidity or the contamination, which, you know, could be chlorine products or you know, different stuff. This is why guys don't like this leak detector, but it's 10 times more sensitive on R410A. So if you put up with the things that you don't like about it, you'll be a superstar getting those 410A leaks. So it auto zeroed for the house. Now what I'm going to do is manual zero. So now we're manual zeroed, so the house is not going to be setting it off anymore. Now we can find our leak without 
detecting the house. So we go back out here. Notice we're not picking up the house. And then with the hot sensor now, I get a massive hit on the 410 refrigerant. See that? And that's a consistent hit three times in a row. It didn't, that rules out squirrely because this thing, you know, they get squirrely. Things will set it off that are not leaks, and you know they're not leaks. So there's definitely an art and a science to using this. The having the sensor new can assure you can pick up the leak. And then lastly, notice how sensitive it is with the reference leak. Before we had quarter inch. Let's get the wind the right way. Okay, we had quarter inch before. Hot sensor. Actually, we got to get off manual mode. Go back to auto. Auto is going to be the most sensitive. I give it a minute here. So you see that? We're picking up that leak about an inch, an inch away, because we have a new sensor and much more sensitive for detecting the 410A leaks. So there's definitely an art and a science to using this, but you'll never miss leaks. Probably you can get leaks half a pound a year quite easily. And, uh, and then if when you use different refrigerant, don't bother using this on 22 because this is a much better leak detector. Actually, most of the leak detectors are much better on 22. This one pretty much sucks on 22. But it's a Superstar, an R410A. So anyway, I'm rambling on. I hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.